Hey all you Let's Play fans, Baltus MC, bringing you more God of War, Ghost of Sparta. So in the last episode, we made a little bit of a detour through the city of Sparta, and we arrived here in the Mount of Laconia. So let's go ahead and continue onwards, then see what we have around here. That was a hell of a jump. Yeah, we're actually fairly close to the Temple of Ares, which, if you remember near the start of the game, Kratos' mother told us that's where we needed to go. So yeah, we should be arriving there fairly soon. Go ahead and destroy those boards there, and then jump on this rope. And I like how these guys are just hanging out here, just waiting for me to come. Oh, and then they get killed like bitches. Fucking punk asses. Alright, let's go ahead and jump across to this rope. So we can keep moving on. Go ahead and destroy those boards before we grab this red chest. Yeah, I mentioned before in the last episode, but I'm going to go ahead and hold on to the red orbs for now. That way I can uh, use them for the next item that we're going to get. Okay, drop down. And then climb across this way. I remember the first time I came across this uh, mechanic in uh, God of War 2, where you could uh, jump down on ledges like that uh, to get by. And I died so many times just because I would confuse L1 and X. Like, I couldn't remember which one would drop me down or uh, climb me back up. Okay, once we get over here, go ahead and center ourselves up. Drop down with L1. And then make sure you hit circle there before it's too late. That way you can swing in here. Okay, well, what do we have over here? Well, we got enemies. Who's surprised by that? Ugh! Shit, these fucking satyrs, man! Okay, we have a Gorgon that's going to be joining in on the fight as well. Now what we could do with the Gorgon there is we could use her to stone these satyrs. That way we can actually get some extra red orbs out of the deal. Okay, just keep doing that. Yeah, look at that! <laughs> Now, once those satyrs are taken care of, we can actually focus on the Gorgon. It's like I lost a little bit of health in that endeavor, but I think it was worth it. Go ahead and finish off the Gorgon. Yeah, I'm gonna slice that fucking ugly head off of yours! Okay, got another Gorgon here to fight. It's like, stop that shit. Now, this one's being rather aggressive. Okay, there we go. Now that she's off balance, we can just keep her juggled for eternity. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to finish her off with Circle, but didn't get the opportunity to. Got a little bit too much bloodlust. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some green orbs there, because they did take a little bit of damage. And we'll get moving on. Swing! Oh, don't want to climb up the cliff just yet, because I saw this red chest down here. Nifty. Now we can go ahead and climb up here and see what we got. Well, we have enemies, of course. Go ahead and slice them off the wall. Get out of my face. Okay. We got one more to deal with. Let's finish him off in a circle. Oh, shit! <laughs> That didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but he still died uh, the same way. Holy shit. Okay, before we move onwards, we got this little alcove over here where we can grab this big chest. Alright, another Phoenix Feather. Just need four more. Okay, now we can continue off to the left. Get jumping along here, that way you can move as quickly as possible. We're almost there. And just crawl up here to this ledge. Okay, we got a rope here that we're supposed to climb across, but we got archers up there that are going to be trying to shoot at us. So we want to bust down this doorway. That way we can get up there and take care of them. Hey guys, special blade delivery. Uh, get out of here. Oh shit. Stop that attacking shit. Okay, got a shield dude there. Let's go ahead and do that so we can break his shield. Oh, and then we'll just punch his fucking ugly face in. Oh! That sucks for him. Okay, got some red chests back here that we can grab. 
Now they're really stocking us up here on the red orbs, aren't they? Not that I'm complaining. Could definitely use that. Okay, so now let's slide down this rope. And now that the archers are taken care of, we can actually climb over here, no problem at all. Let's get jumping along. Alright, now we're safe to drop down. If you need a refill, we got a multi-chest there. But we're doing good on health and magic. And there's also a save point there if you'd like to use it. But I want to go ahead and continue onwards here. Because look where we're at. This is the Temple of Ares. My lord, we shall make quick work of this, and erect a statue befitting of your glory. That's right, man! Now pull! All hail Lord Kratos, the god of war! All hail Lord Kratos! My lord, I have something for you. I shall return. <laughs> nice. They took down the statue of Ares there. Fuck you, Ares. Also, I don't think they explicitly say it, but I think that guy that we were talking to is the same guy from the start of uh, God of War 2, the uh, Spartan soldier. I mean, this game does take place before God of War 2, so it's possible. Okay, so now let's head up here to the door. Face thy self, and your fate shall be seen. All right, let's see what we have inside the Temple of Ares. Kratos stood in the Temple of Ares. It was a somber reminder of who and what he had become. The ghost of Sparta, the god slayer, and now the very person he had once despised. God of War. Ares was often called upon before the Spartans went into battle. Sacrifices were made in his name to solicit his blessing, and the Spartans chose their prisoners of war for this purpose. Once Kratos took his place as the new God of War, Sparta's devotion turned towards the one they saw as their own, save for a few staunch supporters of Ares. So yeah, that's kind of interesting. Also, a little bit of a flashback from God of War 1 there, seeing Ares standing here like that. Well, at least in statue form. Okay, now once we come here to the throne room, we got two chests that we can grab, so we might as well do so. Got another Phoenix Feather there. And over here in this chest, what do we got? Ah, I got another Gorgon Eye, which means health meter increase. So now, we are officially maxed out on health. Excellent. So let's see what we got back here. Oh shit, our younger self is attacking us! <laughs> okay, so what we have to do here is do a quick time event, and then once we uh, succeed with that, we get to aim him and then throw him at the mirror. Let's go ahead and do that! Bam! Yeah, we have to do this four times. If you end up messing up one of these button presses, you can actually uh, get out of it, but you have to use L1 and R1. So you do get a second chance if you fail on a button press. Oh shit! Yeah, don't kill me, you little fuck! Oh, what the hell, I didn't aim the button there. Alright, 
Alright, there we go. Let's chuck him over to that part of the mirror. Coward! Okay, got one more spot to throw him. And there we go. Oh, get out of here, you little shit. Back in that fucking mirror. Alright, and for taking out our younger self, we gain access to the Skull of Kiris, an ancient relic of the Domain of Death. A dark power lies within it. Kratos knew he had to return to Atlantis. Back to the sunken city. Only there would he find the entrance to Death's Domain. And the brother he left behind. All right, so now we have the means of getting into Death's Domain. So yeah, now we have to make our, our track all the way back to the city of Atlantis. Well, what's left of it now. <laughs> okay, so now we're done here in the Temple of Ares. So let's go ahead and backtrack out of here. All right, see you, Ares, you fucktard. Okay, so where to go? Well, we can't go out that way, the way we came. So let's head over here. And we have a red chest hidden along the way here. Well, not hidden that well. It's pretty easy to see it, unless you're fucking blind. Your weapons, my lord. I have looked after them as if they were my own. And with that, we get the arms of Sparta, the weapons of Kratos, the Spartan general, and the coat of arms of Sparta. You have served me well. Thank you, my lord. All right, so now we have a new weapon. Let's go ahead and check that out. Yeah, this is what I was saving my red orbs for. Let's go ahead and level that up. All right, so we have increased damage and a few more attacks. This is actually a pretty neat weapon. It's a little awkward to use, though. So it does take getting used to. Alright, with the arms of Sparta, we can hold R1 and then press uh, square to throw a spear. Then we just use the left analog stick to aim, uh, to choose what target we want to throw our spears at. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and attack these guys. Yeah, I'm not such a huge fan of using this weapon. I find it gets me hit more often than not. It's like, I still prefer the control of, uh, the Blades of Athena. This one just feels, like, a little awkward to use. It's the same when we had, um, Artemis's sword from the first God of War. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out those archers now. There we are. So now we can actually switch back uh, by pressing down on the D-pad there. Now I want to make sure I have my blades up, because I still like having those. Okay, a few boards that we can destroy. Get some red orbs, because why the hell not? And we got a little bit of a refill area. Let's go ahead and get some health back. And we got a save point. Let's go ahead and use that. And save right there. And there we go. So what adventures do we have to expect on our way back to the city of Atlantis? Well, we're going to have to find out in the next video. So stay tuned for more. God of War. Ghost of Sparta.